Morlakea Kinnison has quickly made a name for herself in the running community. The former Wabonzi Valley track star finished her storied career at the University of Texas as one of only two women in history to score in four events at the NCAA outdoor meet in back-to-back -back years. The other, Jackie Joyner Kersey. NSW's Common Enchev sat down with Akinison to reflect on her career at Wabonzi, guiding her all the way to Rio. Morlakea Kinnison came back to Wabonzi Valley a gold medalist as part of the 4x100 meter sprint relay. It was great walking in this morning and seeing all the students there and everyone there to welcome me home and it was just, this is home so it felt great. Her former high school coach Dave Gowing says that from a young age, a Kinnison was more than just a track star. Just the best teammate you could ask for, a uh, vigorous worker, fantastic student, um, really, really nice kid, um, cared about other people, was willing to help the younger kids. He's an amazing person and an amazing coach and he really cared about all of his athletes and he put his best effort to make sure that all of us grew into great phenomenal sprinters and not just sprinters, people in general. And you don't get that a lot from a lot of coaches and they just want you to go ahead and run fast or throw far or jump far or whatever it is that you do, but he wanted you to grow as a person as well. Akinison won the 100 meter dash her senior season in 2012, only weeks after dealing with an injury. There's an amazing picture of me that Gowing got and the finish line is still in front of me. I'm already celebrating and there's so much emotion in that picture because it's not just about that moment for me. It was like the four weeks leading up to it and the four years of high school leading up to it where I had just never had my state title before. Her Olympic gold medal speaks for itself, but it's a tweet that's received the most national recognition. While in high school, she tweeted that in 2016, she will be an Olympian. And since it became true, it's now gone viral, receiving more than 200,000 retweets and more than 25 million views on Twitter alone. I was not expecting it. It was really, really cool, but at the same time, it was kind of overwhelming. I've never been in that big of a spotlight before. Track and field isn't like basketball or football where people are in love with the athletes there. and. It was a little bit overwhelming, but it was really enjoyable at the same time. I didn't know she put that tweet out, obviously, when she was in high school. Um, but as it, you know, as the story came out, I'm not surprised that she would set a goal like that and accomplish it. Um, if you know Morla K, you know that she is when she says she's going to do something, she's going to do it. After the USA won the relay gold, Akinison was quick to text her former coach. I thought that was really neat that she took the time to reach out to me in, in that moment with her family and um, and the big one of the, the biggest moment in her life in terms of track and field. I just I, that was really special for me that she thought of me during that moment. Both the Kinnison and Gowing say that apart from maturing and becoming more confident, she hasn't changed since high school. The 2016 Wabonzi Valley Hall of Fame inductee hasn't forgotten home. For NSW, I'm Kamenenchev.